I'm at Michael's again today. I'm at a different location than before, but I've heard that this one does have their Spooky Town out on display. So we're gonna go inside and take a look. All right, guys, here it is. How cool is this? Uh, I guess I'll just start on this side and go around, give you a look at each of these items. So here we have the Dragon's Lair. I'll try to talk loud enough that you can hear me over the audio. See each side, the detail here is really cool. A little scene inside there as well. Have the tree. I don't remember the name of this tree. It is pretty cool. It is, uh, it's not as big as I thought it would be based on the box I saw at the other Michaels location, but still pretty large. Like here you have the Zombie Jazz Cafe. Colors on this are really neat. I like that New Orleans theme. The piano keys around the top. Got the band playing inside. Really cool. Up here, we have the Graveyard Dance Party. Somebody did let me know in the previous video that this was a 2019 figure. Uh, it looks like it is returning for 2020. I really like it though, especially like that guy up there that opens up out of the, uh, that rises up out of the coffin. That's pretty cool. Here we have the Black Raven Manor. See the ghosts in the window there. And the same mechanism that turns the ghosts turns these bats up here, it looks like. So that's really cool. The pumpkins, they're not part of this item. They're part of the one behind it. So I'll get around to that in a moment. Really cool. If you go around to this side, you have this guy kind of chilling here. And you can also still see the ghosts through this window. So really neat. The Terribly Twisted Taffy Works. Really cool, smaller figurine. No animation, but the lighting on this is really cool. I like the green color. That lights up. You have these little tubs down here that light up. The cauldron lights up. Really cool. You have the Spider Cider House. This is one of the ones I wanted to really see in person. It's really neat. I think this is one of the first items I've seen where they're really doing the apples theme as opposed to just the pumpkin theme. But I like it. You know, it has definitely has that fall vibe. Over here you have the black cat Halloween decorations. I really like this one. At the last Michael store I went to, I actually picked up the witch figurine that has been shopping at the black cat. She's pushing a, pushing a shopping cart and has a bag that says black cat on it. Um, and I really like this to go with it. So. Very well may end up getting that one as well to go with my setup this year. Have the Death's Door Cemetery Gates. This one's pretty neat. Back to that medieval theme. Have that guy inside there working. Really cool. Ghoulish Gourd up top. That one is one of the ones I picked up this year. Really excited for this one. That animation that happens with the pumpkin on the left is like my favorite part of this one. Uh, it changes its facial expression. That's really cool. Have some movement on this guy over here. Got the lighting. It's really neat. I also like the green lighting around the side with the zombie there. We also picked up Jack's Pumpkin Farm. The lighting on that that scarecrow jack-o'-lantern is really cool. Can't wait to get these set out at home. Have the feline choir. This one's just funny. We did end up getting this one. It doesn't do anything, but uh, I just really like the idea of this going on. We got the Best Buds Dog Supply Store. This one's not really my vibe, but it's still really cute. Kind of look around the sides here. Looks like they're running a sale. And if you look in the window, you see a guy there. It looks like he might be grooming that dog. Over here, you have a, it looks like a cat coming up out of a bag, so. Then finally, we have the Hideous Harry's Toy Factory. This one is really cool. It is the most expensive item they have this year, at least at Michael's. You see the conveyor belt there, taking the parts up inside. You also have the gears that spin. The clown, look how creepy he looks with his eyes spinning around like that. Kind of gives me, um, kind of gives me a Pennywise vibe, the way they are kind of pointing different directions. It's really creepy. You have the heads moving around up here, and then of course the lighting. 
There's also, of course, audio that goes with it. It's really hard to make that out right now, of course, with all of them going at the same time, but really cool. We have the Witch's Brew, a smaller piece down here, so pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit like and consider subscribing. It does help me know that you like this kind of content and will help you know when I post videos like this in the future. See you next time.